Okay, so the uh, Air Selfie has come in. This is like one of those selfie drones, brushless, pretty tiny. I think it runs off your phone. So this is it. It uh, fits in the palm of my hand. Got four tiny brushless motors. Got a little USB port in the back here for charging. Optical flow sensor on the bottom and camera in the front. I think it's 1080p. Yeah, this is very light. Let's see how uh, well this flies. Uh, it doesn't come in much, it looks like. Got a couple of spear props. And you get a manual. A little pre-flight checklist. Anyway, I'll have a full review on this on my channel pretty soon, so stay tuned. Okay, I've got the new Foxier box camera, and they've also sent a TPU mount for uh, mounting this on your mini quads because the box camera is bigger than the GoPro session, so you'll, it, it does have a unique size. And we can see here it's a 4K camera, 155 degree field of view, it's got uh, Bluetooth and Wi Fi. So, quick look at some of the features it's got the uh, Sony umbrella processor, Sony sensor. Uh, 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p at 120 frames per second. That's pretty interesting. You got it's water resistant, uh, lens distortion, stabilization, and supervision. So it's probably like something like Superview. And here's some of the specs on the back. And it comes well protected and inside of a some sort of a little mount and has a GoPro attachment as well and stand, so this looks like a standard GoPro attachment it looks like in order to get this out of here you have to unscrew this so getting the camera out of this mount is a little bit tricky there's no like quick release like you have on the GoPro session so there it is you got a looks like a power button there on top perhaps got a little door here So you got your basic ports, you got your uh, mini USB, not micro USB, a little uh, micro HDMI and your micro SD card slot. And it looks like that's the power button there and that's probably your photo and video button. And that's about it there. Let's see what else we get in the box. Okay, you get a uh, mini USB cable. Looks like they include a special screwdriver here. It's a T4 by 30. Uh, yeah, it might be needed to open the camera for some reason. You get another sliding mount here in case you want to put it like on a helmet for it so it's curved. And you get a, looks like an audio video out cable here. It connects to the USB port and looks like it's for charging and audio and video out. And lastly, you get user manuals in English and Chinese. So, a quick look at it. Just getting started guide. There might be a more detailed manual online. I'll check that later in the review. Anyway, I'll have a full review coming up on my channel pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I picked up this 70 millimeter tiny frame from Crazy Pony on Amazon.com. And uh, you know, so it's just an X frame here. It uses a 16 by 16 flight controller ESC. And so I'm going to be using uh, that Super S uh, Fly Tower 16 by 16. Uh, with the uh, mini uh, omnibus F F3 the OSD uh, power cube on this one here it should be really really super light. Probably going to be using some 1102 motors. I'm not sure yet, uh, but this should make a really super light setup. And I think it will spin 1935 props. So stay tuned for that build video later. Okay, guys, I got a new uh, FPV camera here from Eshin. It's the uh, C800T. And interesting thing with this one, it has a uh, OSD controller right on the back of the camera. There's no extra cable you need to attach to this. And it's, uh, let's see, it's got a little joystick here. You can go in these directions, these, these arrows here. So it's diagonally, not up and down. Interesting. So, and then obviously you can press the button. And we got a, it's like a, just a regular three pin connector here. Uh, so you got positive, negative, and video. This looks, uh, I think this is a CCD camera. I'm not sure what size the lens is. It looks like it's maybe a 2.3 millimeter lens. And it looks like it's a typical HS1177 type uh, case. It comes with a 
regular video cable here with just the video power and ground and a servo connector. Comes with a metal mounting bracket and it's uh, a little better than the first generation HS1177 brackets but not as strong as the recent run cam brackets that have come out with the uh, latest, like the Eagle 2 for example, those are really really stiff. This is, a little, this is obviously a lot more bendable. And lastly it comes with mounting screws, so there's no instructions. I'm uh, thinking that probably the manual or specs are going to be on the product page. I'll uh, go over that later in the review, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I got some uh, new 1104 8700 kV motors that just came in. So these are a pretty good deal. They come in a set of four for about $25. So it looks like you only get the very short, uh, I think these are four or three millimeter screws and then the two longer screws for mounting the props. So it would have been nice if they would have included some uh, additional M2 screws, the longer ones. The motor wires are kind of stiff and thin. So not, not the best motor wires. I think that's probably why the cost is so low on this. The bottom has like this sort of pink anodized color. These look kind of like DYS motors. So probably not going to have a formal review video on this, but I'll have this in a build uh, pretty soon. So uh, be on the lookout for this motor in one of my builds and you'll see how it performs in that build, build video. Okay, so I picked up the new Relay CC RX5808 Pro Diversity Module. This is for my Fat Shark Dominator V3 goggles. So there's what it looks like. Um, not a whole lot to this, and I am going to do a video on how to upgrade the firmware. I believe you attach an FD, FTDI adapter here to your computer on these pins, and then uh, update the new firmware. I'm going to do the uh, the Achilles firmware. I don't believe there's too many videos on doing the firmware updates on these, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know if you have any specific questions, and I'll try and address that in that video. Okay, so I picked up a couple of these M9 gimbals. They're not for my Tyrannus. I'm going to be trying to put this into my Trinity Evolution. So that ought to be an interesting video. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work out or not. But uh, might, uh, it might be a pretty interesting hack. So I'm going to give that a try. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, I got a few more FPV items here. This is the VM275T video transmitter. And uh, this is essentially the, the same component that comes off of the back of the CM275T all-in-one camera and video transmitter. This does not come with an antenna. And uh, as you can see here, this is the, basically the same part that I extracted in the um, uh, video all-in-one video transmitter hacking video that I made um, maybe about a week ago. And you see you have three um, lines of uh, wires here. That's for your power, video, and ground. And here, is the, as you can see, this is the one that I extracted from a CM275T. You can see it's the same part. This one has obviously has an antenna on here. This one does not. So keep that in mind. You'll, if you buy this, you'll do. You will need to buy the little whip antenna. So I'll put the uh, link for the uh, whip antennas as well as this in the description. And I got a couple of things here from TurboWing. This is a new brand on Banggood. Uh, this one here is a micro, uh, just a video transmitter it looks like. And it just comes with a whip antenna that you have to solder on. Uh, no camera with this one. And it looks like you have some LEDs for your channel band indication and one button for changing your bands and channels. And this here looks like an all-in-one video transmitter camera. So this one looks similar to the CM275T, but this one has the input outputs for the video in and out. And this one does not have the button for the PAL and NTC switching on the camera unit. Uh, the video transmitter unit looks pretty similar to the CM275T, but it uh, looks like the camera might be a little bit different. This is not the CM275T or the e one that comes with the Ishin Mini Q. It's a little bit different part here. Okay, we got a couple more micro drones on the channel here. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I think these are yeah, these are both from Full Speed RC. Uh, this is the Grasshopper 94, and this one is the Leader 120. So, like a lot of these ones from Full Speed RC, I think they come at a little bit lower price point, and some of them don't come with receivers. I'm not sure if these these two do or not. 
Okay, so what we got here is we got, looks like uh, some sort of maybe battery protector here and some prop guards, and I almost never use those. Uh, a bunch of props, looks like two sets of the five bladed, I think these are like either 1.9 or 2 inch props. And we get a battery, uh, 500 milliamp hour 50C2S with a JST, and looks uh, probably need to swap out the connector for this one, we'll have to see. And you get a bunch of uh, rubber bands for holding on your battery and some sticky foam here or Velcro. So there's a uh, quick look at it. Uh, it's another one of these uh, side plate designs. Looks a little bit thinner, maybe two millimeters, and the bottom plate looks a little bit thinner as well. Maybe about two millimeters. It is a, you can see that there's flex there. And there is a hole in the arm there. But, uh, you know, it's a two inch micro drone, so uh, it's pretty hard to bust up these arms. You like the fact that they got these little notches here for your rubber bands and they and it looks like the bottom's all flat here so it's all got some countersunk screws so it's not biting into your battery. It's nice. I believe these are 1104 7500 kV motors. They're unbranded. There's no markings on them. And you've got a uh, VM2751 camera here. This one is for the uh, has the video in and video out so you'll have an OSD and you can see the wires going back here to the flight controller. This is probably uh, F3 Omnibus and it's got the OSD with the video in, video out and power. And you can see here that there's no receiver soldered on. So this does not come with a receiver. I think that's why yeah, that's a little bit less than some of the others out there. You will need to pick up a receiver for this one. Got a LED in the back here and a buzzer. And this one comes with a JST. Uh, probably okay for 2S on these motors. If you want to do 3S, probably need to get an XT30 for this one. So we'll probably fly it with the JST at first and then do a mod later like I usually do. Okay, this is the Leader 120. Looks like this comes with the same battery, 500 milliamp hour 2S uh, 50C JST connector. Uh, it looks like we get two sets of these green three bladed props. These are the um, 2.8 inch Propellers, these are the ones that came with the King Kong Flag 130 and 110GT, the same ones. And this frame here is one that actually I've already reviewed. Uh, I think it's called, it was from Banggood, it's called the LD120 or FD120, something like that. Had a totally different setup than what's on here, but the frame is the same. It's got the two side plates. I think I put a Micro Swift in there. It says an all in one. And said, and I believe this is also the same motors, the 1104 7500 kV. You got the uh, VM2751 as well, the same camera that's in the uh, Grasshopper. And the same setup here uh, OSD power, no receiver again, so you're gonna have to pick up your own receiver. And you got a buzzer and a small LED. So basically, this is a 120 millimeter version of the one you just saw, the Leader uh, 94, sorry, the uh, Grasshopper 94. This is a 120 millimeter version for larger size props. So look out for a review of this coming up pretty soon.